Hello and welcome back. Thank you once again for joining me. What I'd like to do is invite you on another journey. Now Benjamin Disraeli once said this um, very well. There are always lies, damn lies and statistics. So I'm going to kind of blow you away with some interesting statistics. And if you don't believe any of the stats I'm providing to you, then please go and do your own due diligence or your own homework. Now some of these stats you're going to find very impressive. And from another point of view, you might find them rather frightening. Because if plane loads of um, people were dying daily, I can guarantee you we wouldn't be allowed to fly. And there would be a massive or many investigations going on to find out what really is going on here. However, because we do have, from one point of view, an insidious culture that accepts its reality as it is and because it's not in the media a lot of the time reminding people that really you do have smarter choices that's why I'm here now just to remind you. I'm going to be speaking to you about orthomolecular medicine and allopathic and there are some crossovers but let me just show you for those of you more visual some interesting stats. So if you look on here on this little sheet that I've provided. Obviously on the left side, orthomolecular. And for those of you that don't know what orthomolecular is, it's a term that comes from ortho, which is a Greek for correct or right. And obviously molecule, which is the simplest structure that displays the characteristics of a compound. It literally means the right molecule. And if you have heard of a gentleman called Linus Pauling, who was a two time Nobel Prize winner, he basically termed this in 1968 in what he uh, called orthomolecular psychiatry. And then on the other side, you've obviously got um, the other term, which is called allopathic medicine. And again, if you're not familiar with that, that's basically to do with what I call modern medicine. And another term on there, which you may not be familiar with, which I've labelled here, which is called an um, iatrogenic, which if you want to call it um, iatrogenesis. Uh, and this term simply means the inadvertent adverse effects or complications caused by resulting from medical treatment or advice. Uh, in addition to harmful consequences of actions by physicians, Iatrogenesis can also refer to actions by other health healthcare professions. Now, what I find interesting here is that if you look at those stats which are on there, and this has been provided, and you can get this on Dr. McCullough's website, but I got this from another website called Sixwise. And the wonderful Gary Null and Caroline Dean have correlated all this research, and on this side here, dare I say, death by your doctor, not deliberately, obviously. Seven, and this is in the US, 784,000, and in the UK it's certainly over 40,000. 7.5 mil million unnecessary medical and surgical errors, and 8.9 million hospitalizations, which again are unnecessary. And then if you look on this orthomolecular side, over 25 years, there have only been 12 registered deaths through taking supplements which I would label as um, vitamins, minerals and herbs. That means not even one death every year. Now one death is certainly something to be aware of but when we as a collective are killing hundreds of thousands of people daily through pure ignorance. Wake up people! And uh, you know it's funny I was just outside a moment ago and I saw this this young man drinking a pop of coke coca-cola totally unaware because it tastes good that it's actually killing him so in other words to be absorbed digested assimilated and eliminated it will cost more than it delivers but in those few moments he'll have a high and then his body obviously trying to get rid of it as quickly as he can he'll have a, a crashing low and other orthomolecular medicine type um, vitamins and minerals would be leached from his body in order to process that dysfunctional crap, sad, standard American diet or bad British American diet and it just kind of blows me away but even with that information it's not that we don't know this people aren't applying it because it's not mainstream media stuff showing us or inviting us on a journey to take control of ourselves I'm just like wow but literally yearly 700, over 784,000 people die through medical errors. 
I mean, what more information do you... I remember a great quote um, from Margaret Thatcher, and this was to um, a former principal that I used to work for at a university, uh, Professor Roger Brown, and he used to work in government. And he said to Margaret Thatcher, this was at the time when he worked in the government, is there no amount of information available that will make you change your point of view? In other words, what more do you want? And this was talking about the miners' strike back in the early 80s. People, please. Now, I know this is my stuff, and I don't want you to buy into my stuff, but please, you wouldn't put petrol in a diesel engine. We know that's the wrong fuel. So if something has a label on it, you have a smarter choice to make. In other words, only consume foods that don't have labels on them. If it says cabbage, that's not a label. But if it has loads of other things below the cabbage, and it's been handled by man, and it's got stuff added into it, stuff taken away from it, you have a smarter choice to make. And this is just one area, nutrition. But orthomolecular medicine kind of makes sense to me. It really is simple stuff. It means putting in the right fuel. But that means that you're going to start voting, and not only where you put your feet, but where you spend your money, what you put in here and what you watch. Those are some simple ways, and I did a YouTube on this, of things that you can do to empower and take control of your health. And it really is quite simple once you get the knack of it. And for those of you that don't really care how long you're going to live, no problem, carry on teaching others that. Or if you do care, then carry on teaching others how to. Because any one moment, we are constantly teaching others. Not just through YouTube or on television, just by walking out on the street, walking anywhere. You are teaching anyone who is observing or watching you. So if you want to become the change you want to see in the world, focus or become more conscious about yourself and your habits or your environment. I am just blown away by this. I really am. I just cannot believe that this number of deaths go on and people are just... What? It's just crazy. Seriously, if we had even one plane a day drop in killing, you know, a couple of hundred people, there would be an investigation and then we wouldn't be allowed to fly them again. I mean, look what happened to Concorde. Classic. But when it comes to this, did you know, and this is an interesting fact as well, that when doctors go on strike, and please understand, I've got nothing against doctors. What I am against is the way they deliver things. They are beautiful people, but they've been conditioned. They've been brainwashed, they've been indoctrinated one way and that way is basically treating symptoms instead of going to the etiology or root cause of their challenges. Please, <laughs> become that change. Just start eating fruit, vegetables and meat or eating things that are alive. So I want to leave this with you. What can you do today to take control of your health and to put more or better fuel in your body. That's all I'm asking you to do. It's a journey and it's a request. And then when you do that and you start feeling good, which you will, teach others how to do that. And you don't have to physically teach them, just show up and do it. Orthomolecular medicine is the way forward, people. Allopathic? I don't think so, in my opinion. But you find out if that's right. So have fun doing this because I love taking my clients down to any of the local farming places and showing them fruit and vegetables, meat, raw cheese, if you can get hold of it, raw milk and start introducing that into their diet because over 90% of what's sold in every single superstore that you can think of from Safeways to Tesco's to Sainsbury's, to Asda, to Boos, 90, over 90% 90 is dead, dysfunctional, denatured, crap, caffeinated, refined, alcohol or processed or additives and processed products. Which ultimate, And when you see people walking around with their sticks and looking a bit dysfunctional, probably in their 40s, 50s or 60s, and you think, oh, that's normal. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. It isn't normal. It's only become so because of our insidious culture, through the media and through what seems to become regular stuff in our society. But when you change your glasses like I have done, you see different things. Now, I know I'm an alien from a different planet, but I welcome you on that journey to consciousness. Have fun. My love to you all. Bye for now.